Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, guys, this week the tide has been astronomically high. We've got some storm tides right now from the from the tropical depression that just came in. So a lot of these fish are as shallow as you can get your boat to float. Up here around Sulphur Road, we've been catching fish both on croaker and shrimp. Uh, throwing the croaker right on top of the island, drifting right down the edge of the island with popping corks and live shrimp, just catching good solid mixed bags of trout and reds both with an occasional drum, and really not having to make too many long runs. Uh, this channel right here has had some fish in it. Even though the tide is high, there's some fish in the channel and right on the edge of the channel as you come here just south of the causeway. Uh, just throw those baits in here and you'll get good mixed boxes of fish. Over here in Hog Slough, with all the water in here right now, there's a ton of bait. There's a ton of fish in here. Even in my boat, I can get back up in here, which normally I don't fish back here because the tide is so low. But right now I can put my trolling motor down and just work this whole area. Lots of good uh, pockets to fish. Popping corks and live shrimp or the cut bait. There's so many redfish in here right now. And uh, and a lot of good trout and a few drum. And I caught three nice flounder in here this week. Over here on the outside of Nighthawk, there's been a lot of good fish. I know I'm coloring the tops of the islands right now, but literally that's where we're fishing. Right on top of these islands. Drifting through the little gaps between the islands. Even the islands that normally you can't drift through. That's where the fish are. Uh, especially the redfish we've had a good strong north to northwest wind and it's blowing those fish in so you can drift from the ICW inwards into Nighthawk then run back around and make another drift hit every single little gap between all these islands and you'll catch good fish big trout some nice solid redfish and we caught a couple big oversized reds this week uh, on the cut bait while we were anchored down on the edge of the ICW. Over here on the tide gauge bar I've been catching good numbers of trout, good numbers of reds straight on top of the bar. Uh, if I can keep my nose with the north wind on the inside of the bar and just drift on top of it. There's been so many fish here uh, and not a lot of people are on the water right now. I don't I don't know why because the fishing's really good uh, It's kind of been nice this week with the overcast skies the high tides allowing us to fish Areas that we normally can't fish normally you can't get on top of this bar and fish the very very um, shallowest part of it especially if you don't have a shallow boat and I've got a DV boat and I can get on top of this bar right now a lot of good bait on top of here catching just mixed bags of reds and trout fishing with live shrimp and popping corks even throwing a few plastics on top of them down here at Corrales this little back lake here is so full of water on the map it looks uh, kind of small but with all the water right here it is just filled this little back lake full of fish um, all the fish that were outside of this lake uh, along this shoreline that were in the deeper rocks have got up on the shoreline so drift all the way until you can't drift anymore and that's where these redfish have been sitting as tight to the shoreline as you can get popping corks and live shrimp uh, you can still use croaker I had a few left over this week and I used them today and they ended up working really well catching some better quality fish on the croaker but still getting good boxes of keeper fish on the live shrimp and popping corks i'm captain grant coppin thanks for watching